Uh, and then the last sort of stress that we have, that third sort of stress, is that short, sharp stress just before bed. So maybe everything's going really well and then you realise that your partner said something really not nice and you start having an argument just before bed. Um, and it's one of those things where you have that peak of stress. Maybe all of a sudden, out of nowhere, someone's burnt the toast, but the fire alarm goes off. And all of a sudden you have that cortisol shock. Cortisol is our stress hormone. So we'll experience that cortisol shock. We might have adrenaline pumping through our body then. Um, and we might feel shaky as a result of that. We might feel that our mouth goes dry. There's so many physical ways that stress will then kind of happen to us. But we'll have this peak of this just before bed. So we're in a very high arousal state, that very awakened, very alert state. We're in our fight or flight. And then we try and go to bed. So we have these three different types of stresses, which then might impact on how we manage to sleep. So stress, I was talking about cortisol, wasn't I? I was talking about a stress attack on our body. So if you think back to the caveman days, not that any of us were there then, but that idea, our ancestors needed to be able to protect itself with an innate, inbuilt fight or flight mechanism to make sure that they stayed alive and that they weren't eaten by bears or um, saber-toothed tigers or anything like that. Nowadays, thankfully, we aren't often in a situation whereby we need this immediate danger response. 